what is up welcome back to another vlog all right we're in the studio and i gotta clean her up gotta clean her up sanitizer because we have packages to ship off i am so excited i got the biggest order ever somebody came on and uh almost sold me out of everything that i have on my website and i'm so so grateful so thank you thank you to really anybody anybody who's purchased for me if you're watching this even if you haven't just supporting me watching me i'm just so grateful i'm so grateful and i'm really excited to get it all together there's this is a big order i got a lot of lip rolling steaming and tag sewing and last minute things to put together so i want to make sure y'all get your stuff before christmas so we got to get it popping let's clean up have the big order almost done. I have everything packed except I need to make one more sweatshirt and then pack it up and then we gotta go to the post office. It is 2.18 and I started this I think at 11. Let's rally up and complete this so then it can just be off my to-do list. All right, I'm trying to keep my shit together, but I had a, an order that had, I think, 11 items and then two other customers, and that was on my last sweatshirts that I was finally working on. Got it all embroidered, about to sew on the patches. And what, what is this? There's like ink that got on it or something? Like this wasn't here before, like I must have something on the table, so now I'm like, <sighs> Okay, I'm gonna drop off the packages I have done already and I had this final one to go in the big box But I don't want to make people wait. So I'm gonna go do that and then yeah, I hate when that happens my back i pulled i almost pulled my back out this morning and so i have to be really careful oh shoot the steamer was plugged in this whole night but anyway i have a lot to clean up in here um andy and i had a mini party we have a couple bottles of wine <laughs> last night and then the table came toppling down and it could have been a lot worse we caught it just in time but a bunch of things fell off the table so i need to clean up and finally where is it my wayfair rug is here i waited an actual two months for it to be delivered we're gonna unbox that and clean up and vacuum and get this set up but yeah i am not like fully glammed up right now i just did my makeup and i'm gonna do my hair later because we have a christmas party to go to it's our business legacy homes Christmas party. I'm so excited. We love giving gifts to everybody and a bunch of fun stuff. So let's get it popping. So look at the rug. The rug looks amazing. I actually thought it would be bigger, but I guess the space is so big that it makes it look smaller, I guess. All right, this is what my uh, little walk-in storage looks like right now. It's a mess. That's just what happens when you just, just get busy creating. But here are the heart bags. Oh my God, why is it so cute? Like, tell me why this leather is so cool. I probably will take these bows because I just feel like this doesn't match. But 
Are you joking? Look how freaking cute. Like, Love Shack Fancy Who? This is for all the coquette girlies. I am in love with this red one. It's so freaking cute. I'm in love with all of them, honestly. But here's another one. My mom actually made this one. Oh, it's so cute. All right, I am off to our Christmas party. I'm meeting Andy down at the office, and then we are riding together. I'm wearing this little Love Shack Fancy dress. I actually got this one off of eBay. This one was probably like half the price of retail, so check your check your eBay. And then my boots, I'm, I'm just kind of like, you know, doing the girly, edgy look. I thought these boots would be perfect because there's like dark red in these flowers. And all my jewelry is pretty much from Amazon. These tubes are from Amazon. <laughs> these little heart earrings are from Shein. This little pinky ring is Shein. And then, yeah, we're just going like simple and cute. So today I decided to get out of the house and do something just for fun, just for me. So I I went half hour east to this random little town and I'm going to this little antique finders and keepers. I feel like that's a, a, a chain of some sort, but it's not really near me, so I had to drive half hour out here. It was such a great ride. I was listening to Mitski. I was embarrassed by my Spotify wrap up just because I really don't listen to that much music on Spotify except in the gym and like long car rides and I wasn't embarrassed by my top three which were Lana Taylor Swift in the weekend and then my other ones I'm like I need to I need to expand my horizons with music and appreciating it more so that's what I've been doing just finding different artists to listen to so anyway let's go and see see what we can find finders keepers Shein haul a few days ago and I looked back at the footage and the lighting was so off you couldn't really see the products very well so we are redoing it I shop for all of my packaging stuff for my business like ribbon and tissue paper and bows and anything else I might need for my business because simply it is just way less expensive as opposed to going to a craft store or even Amazon every order I love to write a little thank you note even if it's just like a couple sentences and I've been running out of paper and cards so I got like a I think it's like 300 pack or something of just plain cards so I have been using these for like my vintage stamps and then writing thank you notes so this was just like I think three dollars this has nothing to do with business or anything I just did this for fun I got some temporary tattoos and this is a bow that comes in like a pack of five or something and I'm really tempted to try this out afterwards. Do y'all have tattoos? I've never been a girl that will actively go out and buy and do the time of getting a tattoo. I've just never been into it. I love and appreciate tattoos on other people but I think I am so indecisive and I go through so many different phases that I don't think if I got a tattoo today, I don't think I would like it in two years so I just don't get them. So I'm like, let's just play around with some like fake tattoos. Shein has such a great variety of trim. So basically little lacy details that you can add and sew to the end of your dresses or skirts or sweatshirts or what have you. So I found this amazing tiered trim and I'm so sad that it only came with a yard of it. Each order only has a yard. So I went on to Shein again and ordered like 10 more, but Oh, I just love the tiered ruffle frills. I added this to a sweatshirt and it looks so cute. I got more ribbon. This is like a pink pearl ribbon. I just sometimes order a bunch and I just like, okay, let's just see how this looks. And this is so pretty. This is so great for packaging. It's not necessarily a great ribbon to sew on, but beautiful and then Shein is where I get all my little bows all my little dainty bows I ordered I think like five packs of these pink ones and I got white ones as well 
And these are just so nice because they're so like, they're just so like big and delicious and they're not those little pathetic ones from Hobby Lobby where they come in a pack of 12 and they're like $15. This was I think $1.50 for like 50 of these bows. So I ordered a ton. I love this ribbon. I usually get it in pink, but I got it in champagne. I got it in pink as well, but I just thought the champagne was really pretty too. Then I got some little red bows because I'm bringing in the red for Valentine's Day. And then I got this pearl twine ribbon. Like, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not finding this stuff at Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics. Like, I think it's just so pretty. More ribbon. I just showed you the champagne color one, but this is the pink one that I always use. Like, if you bought from me, you probably have this ribbon now. I also love picking up these like silly trim applique, I don't know what you call this type of ribbon, but I love using this because if I don't want this whole strand, I can cut the flowers individually and sew them on like that. Also my hands are orange, I'm sorry, like self tanner is just not my, my thing. I got a bunch of slippers because I love wearing slippers, especially in the fall and winter time. And are you joking? These are so cute. Shein has so many girly frilly bow pink slippers. These are like sock slippers. They have little grippies on the bottom. I got these fun little cherry fabric patch things just to like experiment. I just thought it was so cute and silly. I got a bunch of fuzzy socks, self-explanatory. Got this like sexy black frill trim. I've been really loving the combination of black and pink lately. It's just like girly meets a little bit of edge. I also picked up a new hairbrush. Okay, and then I love using stickers for my packaging. I got a bunch of stickers. I'm not gonna pull them out right here because it's kind of hard to see, but I'll show you an overview of all the little cutie coquette inspired stickers that I got. The details just add that much more of a fun experience when you're unboxing your package or even if you're journaling and using stickers. Stickers are just so cute. In my last vlog, I showed you guys this new little digital camera that I got. And I'm so excited, the rest of it finally came in. So this is a little digital camera, super low quality, literally feels like plastic, looks like a toy, but it gives that perfect like vintage look not vintage, more like early 2000s, like right when we were trying to get better at technology. And uh, it's just so cute. It's so cute and silly and it'll just spice up, you know, spice up the pictures. So what I did is I got a little strap for it. This was also from Shein. You can just loop it in the, you know, the little strap doohickey. And if you're gonna order this, this was $35 off of Shein and it does not come with a memory card. So make sure you search the memory card on Shein because they also sell those. And then they also sell this camera storage card reader so I can transfer all my photos to my phone and post on Instagram. I also got these slippers. I just got a ton of slippers because I just use them all the time. And um, cute little cherries, pink and red, my current favorite. Okay, now I really want to, uh, let's test out this bow tattoo. Should we put it right here? Let's put it right there. Oh, snap! That's crazy! I don't like that this thing is here, though. Let's take that off. I didn't get a lot from the antique shop, so I just got these angel wings because I've been looking for some vintage looking angel wings and I replaced the twine rope with this ribbon from Shein and then I got this bow door hanger, wreath hanger, whatever. I was just like, that's perfect. She's so cute. Then I grabbed a bundle of these handmade crochet little flowers because I feel like these would be so cute on the totes that I've been trying to make. Oh my god, this tattoo actually looks real. Ha ha. If you ever wanted to spice up your look, get some uh, tattoos off of Shein. I am going to close out today's video. Let me know, are you guys really excited about the new year and making some goals and vision boards? Because I would love to do a video on like making a vision board and setting goals. But if you're not interested, I won't do it. So let me know. Thank you so much for watching and being here. I love and appreciate you so much. And I will see you in my next vlog.